Hi, I'm Danny. I'm a 25 fighter at 210 on a green watch. Let's go and have a look around. So this is our watch room. This is where we respond to all our emergencies. So if we get a shout. We'll get a message with all the information on it and we look on the map and hand this slip to the driver. This is our gym. We have an allocated slot to come in here and keep our fitness up to scratch. This is our gear room where we start all our fire gear overnight. This is our mess room. We all come in here as a watch, we relax and have all our meals as it's very long days. So we have our breakfast and our dinner here. This is the kitchen. We've got PC here, is also a firefighter. Hello. But an amazing chef. What have we got for dinner today, PC? We have got aubergine parmigiana, which if you have a look behind you, you'll see the aubergines are all ready. As is the tomato, and I'm just doing the cheese. This is our food store cupboard. So we have one for each watch. So you have the blue watch, the white watch, and the red watch. And ours, which is the green watch. So we have all our food in here. So this is the drill yard. This is where we come out and practice all our drills. Today's drill is at RTC, which is a road traffic collision. So at the moment, they'll be cutting open a car. Cutting, cutting, This is our drill tower. We use the pitch ladders. And this is where we get all our water supply from the hydrant to do our drills. Right, so I'm going to show you around the uh, fire today. Here are two, we have two appliances. We've got a pump and a pump valve. So I'll just show you some of the kit that we install the appliances. We've got shovels and spades that we use to dig out um, and break stuff out. We've got Sledgehammers, uh, we'd use these if we need to break into stuff, uh, cut, or cut away stuff, gain access to stuff, we'd use them. Here we've got spare hose, which is rolls called a cleave and roll, so to carry, we carry them like this, and we go into buildings. And here's where we store our hose, so We've got different lengths, these are 23 meters, so we can use these to get the appliance to wherever the fire is. This is the branch that we use on the end of the hose, so we open it like that, and the water comes out, close it like that. We have life jackets in here, in case we'd be working on water, we'd use these. We've got gas tight suits in here that we'd use in case we're going to come into contact with any chemicals. Here we have the enforcer, we use this to break through doors. So each, each appliance has their own call sign. So if we get a shout for the pump, it will be Hotel 352, we'll respond. And on the pump ladder, it will be Hotel 351. And here we have things like saws, again, for cutting stuff. We've got our breathing apparatus sets, which we use to go into fires to help us breathe. So we have a cylinder, which is filled with air, which will help us to breathe. These are ready to go as soon as we get a shout. We've got the cutting gear, which we saw outside in the drill. So these are the cutters. They can cut through pretty much anything. And we've got spreaders over here. Again, they cut as well and they spread. This is back of the fire. 
135 ladder. This will get us up to the fourth floor of the building. This is where we get all our water supply. This is the water tank. This tells us how much we've got in there. So if this runs out, we can use our stand pipe to connect to the hydrant and fill this back up. So Tooting is a really old building. It's grade two listed and was built in 1907. Hence the really small bay doors because they were built for horse and carriage. In fact, it's so old that there's been reports of a ghost on the third floor. Being a safe in a home is something we all want. However, it's not always easy identifying hazards that could put you or your loved ones at risk. This is where our new home fire safety checker can help. The checker will guide you through the home, listing all the hazards to look out for in each room. It will then provide specific advice for you tailored around your home and your family. It's also completely free and really easy to use. So to find our home fire safety checker, please go to London Fire Brigade website. Hi, I'm Leone. I'm also a firefighter at Tooting. So now we're going to have a little look at what we wear when we go to fires and incidents. So Danny and I are both in our workwear. So this is the uniform that we all wear when we're around station, uh, if we're fitting smoke alarms, and if we're just doing regular non-dirty work, then this is, our, this is our uniform. So when we go to fires or any incidents, we have specialist personal protective equipment and we're going to show you what it is now. So Danny's been in the job for four weeks now, so he should be able to get rigged in less than a minute. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> so as you can see, Danny's got boots on. So Danny's got steel toe cap boots, so that if anything falls on his feet, or he's walk, walking around in uh, hot environments, then his feet are nicely protected and his bottom of his legs are kept safe. We've got padding on the bottom of his knees. Uh, quite often, if there's a fire, you'll be low, so you'll be crawling on your hands and knees, so you need some protection in your knees. Um, and he's got nice big pockets so that he can keep other little bits of equipment like a personal line or a flash hood. And a bear mask. Um, his trousers, his leggings are joined by braces which just hold you all nice and secure and they sit quite high so that there's no gap between his tunic and his leggings so that there's nowhere for any fire to get to your skin. So same as the knee pads, he's got some elbow patches on his arms. Um, all of our fire gear is now gold. You might have seen us a few years ago in navy kit. So the reason we've moved to gold is so that you can see any fire, any dirt, any contaminants on our fire gear. Um, and that shows us that we've been touching things that might be dirty and that might be bad for us if it gets onto our skin. So as soon as you have a dirty fire gear, then you change it for a clean one. So we just come back to the station after a job, we have a shower, we get all new fire gear and we're ready to go again. So on his head, Demi's got a helmet. He's got a light on the front of his helmet that he can activate if he needs to see better. You'll notice that Dan has got two diamonds on his helmet as well. This means that he's a new firefighter. So usually that means he gets a little bit more support if we're on a fire ground. But uh, normally after about 18 months, his diamonds will come off and his helmet will be plain yellow. And then you won't be able to spot him amongst anybody else. So on the front of his tunic, he's got a lamp. So we can use this, it's a detachable handheld light. So we can use this uh, anytime we need some extra light. It's got a radio, so each firefighter carries a radio where they can equally, they're just big walkie talkies, and then we can all be in contact with everybody. Everybody knows where everybody is, and it helps to keep us safe. We carry two different sets of gloves. Um, we've got our, our hot wear gloves, uh, which are the yellow ones, which we'll wear in a fire. And then we've got our orange, which are rescue technical gloves. So we might use them if we need to be a little bit more dexterous with our hands, 
but we're not involved in any fire. But both sets of gloves will keep your hands free from any glass or any debris or anything that might injure your hands. We've also wear a flash hood, which looks like a big balaclava. So when you put that on underneath your helmet, it stops any bit of your face and neck uh, coming in contact with the heat and the fire. So you'll just see just your face poking through and then you'll have a, a, be a breathing apparatus mask on your face. So the head to toe, nothing will be out and exposed. Thanks for visiting. It's been lovely to show you around. Hopefully see you soon.